Hello everyone, this is Riley at InMusic, and in this video, we're going to cover the basics of using your Ion Audio BrightMax or BrightMax Plus wireless speaker. First things first, before we get into any of the onboard features on the BrightMax and BrightMax Plus, make sure to charge your speaker so it has full battery life. On the back of the unit, open this panel with the Ion logo and connect your provided micro USB cable. Then plug the other end into a USB charger capable of supplying 5 volts and 2 amps. These are very common, but there are plenty of USB chargers that provide 1 amp or less that will not work to power the BrightMax. For example, a computer USB port will only supply half an amp. These lesser USB chargers will be able to charge the battery, but won't supply enough power to use the BrightMax while it's charging. Now, just plug your USB charger into a power outlet. A red LED light will illuminate next to the power button on your speaker when it's charging. For best results, we recommend keeping the unit powered off while it's charging. Actively using the speaker while it's charging may drain too much power from the power source to allow for effective battery charging. This will depend on how the speaker is being used, for example, how loud music is being played, or if it's linked to other speakers. Let your speaker charge for up to 5 hours to ensure a full battery. The red LED light will turn off when the battery is fully charged. Okay, so I've let my speaker's battery charge, now let's check out its onboard features. To turn the speaker on or off, press and hold the power button for two seconds. You'll hear the speaker say, Power on. Followed by, Bluetooth pairing. You can double press the power button to disable or enable these automated voice prompts if you'd like. Voice off. But I'm going to leave them on so the speaker can tell us exactly what it's doing. Voice on. The Bluetooth button is used to wirelessly pair a Bluetooth device with the speaker. This is the default mode your speaker will be in when it powers on. We'll cover how to connect via Bluetooth later on in this video. Pressing the Lights button will cycle through your speaker's light modes, which are Candle Flicker, High, Medium, and Low versions of Candle Color Solid, Color Cycling Phasing, and Color Cycling Beat Sync, which will phase through multiple colors while reacting to the beat of any played music. For the two color cycling settings, you can freeze on a particular color by pressing and holding the lights button. You can unfreeze it by doing the same thing. Use the volume buttons to increase or decrease the speaker volume, and the track buttons are for navigating to the next or previous track when connected to a Bluetooth device. The play pause button will play or pause whatever is playing from a linked Bluetooth device. To enter ambient sounds mode, press the ambient sounds button. Atmospheric sounds. When this mode is enabled, press the play pause button to play or pause the ambient sounds and use the track buttons to cycle between them. The ambient sounds included in your speaker are babbling brook, ocean waves, rainforest, rain, white noise, ASMR inspired brushing, Bonfire, Dreamscape, Tibetan Bulls, and Traffic. To exit ambient sounds mode, either press the ambient sounds button again, or press the Bluetooth button to return to Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth pairing. Let's go back to the rear panel where you charged your speaker. Next to the micro USB charging port, your speaker also has an 8th inch or 3.5mm input, which can be used to connect an audio source like a CD or MP3 player, or anything with an auxiliary output. The BrightMax and BrightMax Plus speakers are best controlled and used with the Ion Sound XP mobile app. It's available for both Android and iOS devices. On your device, open the App Store or Google Play Store and search Ion Sound XP. Then follow the on-screen instructions to download and install it. Next, open the Ion Sound XP app, and it'll prompt you to turn on your device's Bluetooth, location, and location access settings to function properly with your speaker. Grant these permissions to get to the next step. Before we go any further, make sure your device is near your speaker and that there aren't any objects like furniture, walls, or other things in the way that could obstruct your Bluetooth connection. On the following screen, click the plus in the bottom right to add your speaker so you can connect it. The app will begin scanning for nearby Ion Audio devices, and your speaker will pop up on the screen. So tap next, 
You can enter a custom name for your speaker here if you'd like, but I'm going to keep mine as Bright Max Plus, and then tap Finish. Now your speaker has been added to the list of available products that you can connect to. So just tap your speaker to connect to your device to it via Bluetooth. You'll hear your speaker say Bluetooth connected upon completion, and the speaker's LED will turn solid blue. Now you can play whatever audio you like from your device through your speaker. With the Ion Sound XP app, you can control many of your speaker's onboard functions. You have a volume slider here to adjust the speaker volume. You have a switch to disable or enable those automated voice prompts, which your speaker will confirm verbally when changing. Voice off. Voice on. You can adjust your speaker's lighting, including its on-off setting, brightness, and the light modes we saw earlier. And by tapping the audio button, you can enable, disable, and adjust your speaker's low, mid, and high equalizer settings. And you can also turn on and switch through the speaker's sleep sounds in ambient sound mode that we heard earlier. Atmospheric sounds. Going back to the speaker control screen, you can tap this help icon in the top right corner to access instructions for using multi-sync to connect your speaker to more multi-sync compatible Ion Audio speakers. Let's find out how to do that. First, make sure that your BrightMax is properly connected to your device via Bluetooth using the steps we just covered. Your BrightMax will be the primary speaker in the signal chain, meaning it will feed its audio signal into any other speakers you connect to it with multi-sync. Those speakers will be your secondary speakers. Next, double press the Bluetooth button on your primary speaker to enter multi-sync mode. Multi-sync primary speaker. The speaker's LED will change from blue to white to indicate this. Make sure that any secondary speakers are within 100 feet or 30 meters of the primary speaker. The closer they are to each other, the faster they'll sync. Now, power on any other speakers you want to sync to your primary speaker. Here, I have an Ion Audio Tahiti speaker, so I'll turn it on. Power on. Bluetooth pairing. Next, I'll double press its Bluetooth button to turn on multi-sync mode. Multi-sync secondary speaker. And it will automatically sync to my primary speaker. Now any audio that I play from my Bluetooth connected device will be sent to both my BrightMax and the Tahiti speaker. Another useful feature of the BrightMax and BrightMax Plus is that you can use your Android or iOS device's smart assistant to control it using voice commands. First, make sure your device is connected to your speaker via Bluetooth. Then press and hold the play pause button to enter smart connect mode. If there's any audio playing when you do this, it will be paused. Now, simply say a command to your speaker at a normal volume within three feet or one meter of its onboard microphone. Play my music on Spotify. You'll hear your smart assistant reply to the command through the speaker. Playing on Spotify. You'll need to repress and hold the button to send additional commands. So now that we know how to connect a device to your speaker via Bluetooth, and how to multi-sync your speaker with other speakers, let's learn how to use the Bluetooth Dual Connect feature to pair multiple devices to one BrightMax Plus speaker. Note that this feature is only available with the BrightMax Plus, and it won't work in multi-sync mode. So first, of course, make sure your first device and speaker are paired via Bluetooth. Bluetooth connected. Then simply connect your second device to your speaker using the exact same process you used for the first device. Bluetooth connected. This allows you to switch back and forth between devices and play whatever you want from each through the speaker, without having to disconnect the first device and connect the second one each time you want to switch sources. Before we wrap up, let's cover some basic troubleshooting techniques so you can nip any common issues you may have with your speaker in the bud. If the unit isn't charging, make sure the micro USB cable is properly connected to the power input, the USB power adapter, and the power outlet. Like I mentioned earlier, we recommend using a power adapter that can handle a current of at least 5 volts and 2 amps. If the sound from your speaker is distorted or clipping, try lowering the volume on your connected device. Distortion can sometimes occur if you have the volume on your device near or at 100%. If you're having trouble connecting your device to your speaker via Bluetooth, here are a few things to try. Have your device and speaker as close to each other as possible when attempting to connect. Walls, furniture, and other objects that lie between the device and speaker may cause obstruction of the Bluetooth signal. Reset your speaker's Bluetooth connection by pressing and holding the Bluetooth button. Bluetooth disconnected. Bluetooth pairing. 
Then press and hold it again to turn it back on. Bluetooth connected. Then try connecting your device. In the same vein, reset your device's Bluetooth connection by turning off Bluetooth, then turning it back on and attempting to connect. Bluetooth connected. If none of these steps work, and you've previously connected this device to your speaker, find BrightMax or BrightMax Plus in the list of available or previously connected Bluetooth devices in your device's Bluetooth menu, and then tap the gear icon next to it and select Forget or Unpair. Then turn off your speaker. Power off. Then turn it back on. Power on. Bluetooth pairing. And try pairing again. Bluetooth connected. If you're still having issues with your BrightMax or BrightMax Plus speaker, reach out to the Ion Audio support team at ionaudio.com support. They'll help you resolve any issues you're having in no time. That link can be found in the description of this video, along with more resources and tutorials for using your BrightMax or BrightMax Plus speaker. Thanks a million for watching, and have fun listening with your speaker.